So like when you came back from the Grammys, wife, kids, like, is it just you, as soon as you get home from something like that, which is such a new fun experience. And I, have I had so much fucking fun on that. I'm not going to lie to you. I, I, I really want to be the guy who's too cool for an award. Uh, yeah. That's but when I lost that hurt for like four hours, legit hurt. Oh man. Really? I was like, uh, cause you know what it was, dude. It's funny is when you're there, <laughs> when you're, but I was going to lose. I, I mean, Tiffany is one of the funniest, yes. craziest fucking people yeah. I've ever hung out with in my life. Like yeah. she is like a force. Yeah, dude. She, she is like, she is fucking hilarious yep. and it's the greatest energy. Just somebody you just want to fucking be around. Is it me or is there something shiny on my face? What's yeah, there's a little, here? looks like a little, like a, like a white cyst that keeps following you around. And you weren't going to say anything the whole time? What is that? I will. When you oh, leave, there it is. There you go. a reflection off the fucking mirror. Yeah. Window. Um, <laughs> so this is what it, so I went to the, you're just going to let that happen. <laughs> I know, dude. I was, well, I was giving you a benefit. I was giving you a 90 second buffer. Look, I'm the guy that tells you if you got food on 90, your face. You're not the guy. You just had the opportunity to be the guy, and you weren't the guy. Don't do not do this. When somebody goes like that, they're, they're full of shit. Here, well, here's what you happened. You look like you're arguing a call that you know they got right. <laughs> <laughs> you got so fired up to tell me about your Grammy experience. Do you think I wanted to cock block it by being like, you got a white light sucking on your lip? Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. So how it works is... So of all the nominees, I was the only one who was there because yeah. of COVID, right? Tiffany was taping a show and then, you know, and everybody else is just, you know, whatever. So they go, oh, your category's coming up. So the guy picks up a Grammy and is holding it in front of me like I'm going to take it like a handoff. And he saw the look on my face. Yeah. Like, I'm looking at him like, does that mean I want it? Do you know already? And he goes... So he saw the look on my face. He goes, no, no, no. This is just in case you win it because you got to take it and go. You got to run right up there and accept it because they needed the Internet thing to end. So we didn't run into to, oh. uh, to, to the to the real brand. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so then it's like right there and it's just like and the winner is somebody else. And then the guy literally just turns away. It becomes a play action fake. And then he throws a little screen pass to somebody else. And when I tell you, dude, two minutes later, you're standing in a parking lot wondering what the fuck just happened. That's how it went down. Dude. It was. And I was talking to another oh. host. She lost, too. And we were laughing. But then, like, two seconds later, her dad came out and he saw King of Staten Island and really liked it. So we took pictures. And that made me feel good. And uh, I couldn't believe how bummed out I was. Really? Yeah. You usually just don't give enough uh, attention to stuff like that or what? Because you got enough cool notches on the belt. But what about it gave it more no, value? No, no, no. None of that. It's it's like uh, I say I don't care because I don't want to feel like that when I don't win it. Yes. That makes sense. So it's just one of those things. I'll yeah. just say I, I, I'm going to hurt it before it hurts me. There you go. <laughs> so the whole thing was funny because they were like, do you want to do you want to become a member of the Grammys? <laughs> yeah. The Grammy thing. And it's like, no, I don't, but I want to win. So I don't want to piss you off. So you're like, yes. And they're like, all right, that costs this much. It's like, do you want to be a presenter? It's like, no. Yeah. But I don't want to lose. So I'm like, yes. Dude. And then I'm standing down there in this fucking goddamn suit. <laughs> the whole thing was hilarious. Well, the whole thing, the whole thing was, is, is, was a, but here's the thing. It was all worth it because the amount of fun, like I would be a presenter on something I, I would definitely do it again. I had so much, and it's all about, it might be different if there's actually a crowd there. I think if a crowd was there, it would have sucked and they'd be all sensitive. I was going to ask you they, that. You know, when you're making the camera, when it's just the camera crew, that's like when you're doing a gig and the, and the crowd isn't laughing, but the band's laughing. Dude, I love that. <laughs> yes. I fucking love that. No, if you can do that to a point, but those people also paid to see a show. So at some point you got to get back over the double line yeah. into their shit. But when you tell one and only the band laughs or only the camera crew's laughing, that's when you're just like, you oh, can that sleep was night. really funny. Oh, yeah. Well, dude, you had – I've never in the history – and, look, as much as I, like, I guess love, hate the award shows because of the lack of – and I'm hating it for the wrong reasons. I'm always wanting more comedy, more sketches, more goofy shit. And when it's – like Ricky Gervais, I fucking love. And I just rewatch some of those just to see Tom Hanks be like – Ew, but you know what I'm saying? Like, which, which sucks that people are, you know, taking it that seriously, but I get it. But, but the way that you were like delivering, I mean, I just wrote down a few just so I wouldn't forget when you said, 
you, you, you talk to the music at one point, which I've never heard somebody do. You go, eh, and, the, and it goes to Nietzsche, and then it starts playing the music, and then it cuts away from you, and you go, and you just hear you off camera go, Nietzsche? I don't know. <laughs> just fucking, dude, trying to figure it out. Because they didn't, I felt, I actually, I felt bad. These people were up for a Grammy. They were I know. winning a Grammy. I should be saying their names. <laughs> if you see the footage... <laughs> The uncut footage. I'm saying, can you tell me how to say these fucking names? <laughs> That's what's so great about it is you know you care. Like when you said you go Jane, it was best classical solo album, and you go Jane Blatch, and then you go Blatchy, and then you, every time you went up with a question mark, I got excited. And then on that one, you can hear it audibly. You sigh and go, oh, fuck. <laughs> and the Grammy goes to Sarah Braley, Dashen Burton, and Jane Blatchy. Blatchley. No. Oh, dude, you got to listen to it. Unless my ears were uh, leading me astray. But. I don't want to. I don't want to watch that. I mean, because I mean, in a perfect world, I would have had. A, they would have had time. Uh, yeah. To tell me how to say all those things, but I, you know, it's just one of those things. It's like are you guys setting me up here. Why would you have someone as white as me <laughs> reading these things? Yeah. And then I was thinking. Then that's when the joke came to my head, going like, "Well, I know these fucking." <laughs> hairy leg white broads are out there fucking saying this bullshit trying to get something going like they care Fuck no, about anything other than themselves 